Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. I rise to support the motion of thanks to our President Draupadi Murjimurji. It's customary, sir, for the President to address both the houses to outline the remarkable achievements of our nation under our government. We should all be proud of this. And it is this tradition that the Parliament upholds. And yes, there are shortcomings, there are scope for improvements, but that can always wait for debate and discussion later. Let us keep this rich tradition alive, sir. Let us use this opportunity in a dignified way and let our Parliament be known for its discussions, not its disruptions. Sir, under the leadership of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, India emerged as the fastest growing major economy. From 10th place, we moved on to 5th and well on our way to 3rd. But sir, these are numbers for elite economists and maybe us politicians. How does these numbers make a difference to our poor, our rural folks, our farmers, our industry, our small businessmen, our health care and our education, sir? I thank the President for ele eloquently elaborating these. So I would like to start with the small things our government did, sir. Sir, the 12,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees bathroom, sir. The Swachh Bharat. Leaders come and go. Prime ministers, chief ministers, ministers, governments come and go. And they boast themselves, they did this project, they did, they built that dam. But it's the small thing, sir. Sir, people build infrastructure, but great people change societies and how societies behave. Ten years ago, India meant open defecation. Foreigners come, we have to look down in shame. So, Irozu Manamu Oka Samajamla Marputechanena Oka Goppa Vektante Mana Pradhan Mantri Modi Garu. You know, infrastructure project Chesaru, Kani Ina Gauravam Menchindu, Atma Gauram Menchindu, Nisangane, Mana Telugu Bashan Gud Marchindu, Intang Mundu, Yorana, Gain Ekadwa in Dianta, Baitiko in Dantamu, Kanipudu, Ipudu, I Nekadwa in Dianta, Bathroom Matter. Sir, the word bathroom has now become a Telugu word, sir. They proudly say, I Nenu Bathroom Vainani. Sir, he increased the self-worth, the self-dignity and of the poor children, not because they don't know, because they did not have access to bathroom, sir. And this, I'm very proud of, sir, that our government achieved this. The last 60 years, we had, to, we had to bow down our heads in shame that such an advanced country, we still had open defecation. Almost in our state, sir, it's almost 90% open defecation free. Regarding our farmers, sir, just in my state, Telangana, 29 lakh farmers get 6,000 rupees under Kisan Sanman Nidhi, sir. MNRIG scheme, sir. Of course, it is started by the previous UPA government, and we are happy. They did some good things too, but we continued it, sir. What was happening under MNRG scheme? Ten years ago, rupees 150 rupees per day for the labor, sir. Now, they talk about petrol price increase, but look at the MNRG increase, 100% increase is 300 rupees today, sir. But it's not just the 300 rupees, sir. Before that 150 rupees, they had to pay 50 rupees rishwat and get 90 or 100 rupees. Now, every penny of the 300 rupees is going into their account, sir. Raitulaku, fertilizer subsidy, sir. Tombay Shatamu, Kevulamu Ronduandala Debai Rupal Petale, Yuria Bastaku, Lekunda DAP Bastaku. Today, not only these crops are growing, it's because of the, especially in Telangana, we don't have canals, sir. It is because of the current being supplied to the pub, sir. Today, India has become almost self sufficient. Gone are the days of power cuts. With power sector reforms, operational efficiency, plant load factors of even NTPC and government increasing beyond 90%, sir. It has increased beyond European and American plant load factors, sir. And because of this, 
we, our farmers are getting electricity to pump the water, sir. The banking sector, sir, it, in 2014, it was bankrupt. It was in doldrums. Strict discipline, recognizing unrecoverable loans as unrecoverable loans and not hiding them under NPAs like the previous government did. Calling spade a spade and willful defaulters, willful defaulters. And you've seen the people who have took loans from the previous government and now fled the country, sir. And this again is false propaganda against us. You have written off loans. We have not written off loans, sir. These are unrepayable, unrecoverable loans given by the previous government. We had the courage to say these are unrecoverable and wrote off. And because of this and other reforms, the banking sector turned around, sir. We, today the banks, especially the public sector banks, the State Bank of India profits is bigger than the Reliance Industries profit today, sir. Something that was unimaginable. But what are they doing with this money, sir? They are doing it responsibly. Responsibly, they are giving it to those who need it. Whether it's a big industry or the mudra loans or the Vishwakarma Yojana loans. And these, somebody today said, sir, the gentleman is not here from the opposition. He was telling Vishwakarma Yojana, he was associating with Hindu religion and caste. A Raja, A Raja. He was telling, he was associating Vishwakarma Yojana to Hindu religion and caste. Sir, I think the honorable member is not aware or not well read on this. Even a Muslim, even a Christian can become a carpenter. And tomorrow his son can become a goldsmith or anybody who works with his hands, sir. And that is the greatness of this Vishwakarma Yojana, sir. Sir, it's not just the PSU bank, sir. So, 10 years ago, if someone wanted to make money in the stock market, they would have invested in Wipro, Infosys, and uh, TCS. Today, sir, the share market, the PSU banks, not only the PSU banks, the State Bank of India, but also the PSU company, Nalco, BHEL, Oil India, ONGC, HP, these are all outperformed all the IT companies, sir, and they have increased 300 folds. Sir, regarding Northeast, sir, everyone was raising the point. Sir, today I'm proud to say, sir, Northeast is connected. Hardly we used to see any gent anyone from Northeast in Hyderabad or Delhi or Bombay. There are more than 10,000 youth from Northeast, sir. From all communities, Nagas, Kukis, Metis, people from Maharashtra, uh, from Mizoram and Meghalaya. We see them in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi, sir. And they are all Indians, sir. They are connected. They work in India, sir. Otherwise, Northeast was isolated. Today, what never happened in 60 years, whether it's the roads or the bridges or the highways, it happened under this government, sir, the airports. And the talk is about recent, not the development, but as a recent violence, sir, in Northeast. Manipur in particular, the ethnic violence is very painful to all of us, sir. More than 200 died, but who is the root cause of this, sir? Has the demographic not been changed, sir? Recent elections, you see the polled votes or the registered voters. In some ethnic groups, they have increased by 50% in just one term, sir, in five years. Many groups, they increased 75%. How did this happen, sir? When is a voter is 18, did 18 years ago this ethnic group decided to increase their fertility rate suddenly? No, sir. We did not have a border in 60 years, sir. There is imports, there is insurgencies, and they are crossing the borders. That's the only way possible that the electoral rolls would have increased by 50% or 75%, sir. And yes, at a time like this, the nation has to come together and not do petty politics. It is unfortunately, sir, the leader of the opposition has gone there. They have accused us. They said none of the prime minister has not gone. They have forgotten, sir. In Northeast, there were riots. There was a blockade. The Indian Army, Indian Air Force was ordered to bomb and strafe, and 2,000 people died, sir. We heard about Operation Blue Star in Punjab, but this was much before, 
another operation blue star in in mizoram sir who did it happen sir shame shame did they forget sir the fake encounter deaths almost 2000 did they forget the longest hunger strike by airom sharmila sir and manipur according to them probably had golden days sir i think they are referring to the golden triangle of opium trade and they are thinking that is the golden days of manipur sir really i think indians everybody whether they are methis or cookies they are our indians sir they are our people sir they are not chinese sir one of the overseas leaders said northeast people are like chinese and they said our south indian people are like africans so to us all of us are indian sir all of us are indian sir you don't look like african sir you look like my brother south indian brother sir so so indian cookies are indian cookies sir not the insurgent but they want to use them as brownie points sir so recently we went through elections sir one of the largest elections in any democratic country lacks of polling booths and evm and if one or five or 10 polling booths there was booth capture or the evm malfunction do you think what do we do sir we have re elections there we don't call the whole elections farce and say we'll have a entire lok sabha re elections for the entire country sir i'm talking about neat sir they want to they discuss neat sir neat is not a systemic yes. failure sir in some of the centers four or five centers kindly come there was so kindly it's only in the four or five centers that we need to re-examine and the supreme court is re-examining this sir but they on the other hand instead of supporting the process which is being conducted by the courts the high courts and the supreme court they are actually adding confusion kindly and conclude, playing with please. the lives of the people sir just five minutes sir. and the supreme court or uh, the uh, the, uh, the high court ordered the counseling should go on and uh, but what are they doing sir we have seen this anushree patel uh, ayushree patel a fraudster who supposedly have invented the covid vaccine she complained saying that my o omr omr sheets are torn and they went to court and what did the court find they repure nta reproduced the omr codes and for that one of the congress leaders from the congress first family supported that lady now it is proven in court and this fraud is proven sir they are only they they are only adding file to fewer and uh, you are supporting that you are supporting that anushree fraudster we are supporting the supreme court and the high court we go by the high courts and supreme courts that is what listen to what the allahabad high court said in both these cases and see the counseling is alive so so i i do not apparently have much time sir but uh, but respected chair chairman one of the things we talked about everyone almost dwelled on the subject of spirituality faith and religion sir so one thing we should all agree sir regardless of whichever faith we are we should not tolerate intolerance we should not encourage those faiths which does not respect other faiths we should not encourage those discussions which say he is a kafir so he should not be respected we should not respect and encourage those people he is a pagan so he should not be respected so respect and take respect sir and lastly i have so much more to say but i'll i leave and conclude but my last words again sir is let us be known as a parliament which is known for its discussions and not for its disruptions thank you sir